guys sunbeam here and today i'm gonna be showing you my current household well like the household i've been playing like the longest for like the past two years why is there fruit cobbler on the floor okay um so i'm gonna start with her this is the sim that i started with i only started with one sim her name is lucinda gonzalez it wasn't always gonzalez i don't think i don't remember her name <laughs> but there's a lot going on here so i'm gonna go right to her family tree so i started with lucinda and she married Maddox. He's a sim I downloaded from the gallery. I love this family so much. You guys don't understand. Oh my god. Um, she had four children with him. Her oldest, Poppy, is married already. Um, she married her neighbor, Jonas Greenberg, who used to live with his mom, Taryn. Um, they have twins, Wendy Greenberg and Marcel Greenberg. Um, her Lucinda's second child that she had was... Um, Phoenix, I'm gonna say Phoenix is the second one. Phoenix, um, her daughter Phoenix, she's in high school still, and then her son Orion, and then her youngest, Remy, Remington Gonzalez, but I call him Remy. So that is the family tree so far, but they have such an intricate story, like you guys, oh my god. Okay, so let's start. So, first of all, Lucinda, um, when she was first, when I first made her, her story was that she was a sim from El Salvadorada who was trying to find, you know, a home um, in Bertleton Bay. Uh, no, in San Myshuno. And in San Myshuno, she met um, her friend Emilio. Well, he's not her friend anymore, but Emilio. Um, she met her best friend, Milena. And she met Lauren Santiago. Now, back in San Myshuno... Her and Milena were best friends. They hung out all the time. And then she dated a guy that um, I'll show you a little bit later because he's dead. And I, he's like super dead. Like he's not even on here no more. Like he um, isn't in her family tree. But he was a guy that she dated for a really long time before she met um, Maddox. And she he ended up cheating on her with this girl, Piper. And um, he got her pregnant and she had a kid. And... Um, Piper actually um, looked to Lucinda for help because he wouldn't help her with the baby and she ended up alone so she went to Lucinda for help and um, <laughs> she um, uh, became friends with her and then um, Andrea here this is another one of his kids actually but with another woman that he later met in life and she became friends with her as well because a lot of them looked to Lucinda for help um, but anyway, back to uh, the Gonzalez family. Milena, being her best friend, um, they both were pregnant at the same time with their first kids. Uh, Poppy, which I'll go to her family in a little bit and explain to you her story. Now, but that's just uh, Lucinda's story. She pretty much met Piper and Andrea through her ex-boyfriend, who passed away um, later. And um, so this is the family right now. Here's... Lucinda, Gonzalo, uh, Lucinda, Maddox is at work, and then there's Phoenix up here. There's Phoenix. Oh, wait, no. It couldn't have been that funny. Calm down. Phoenix is kind of like the, the, like, outcast. She's part of this group that I made called the Political Teens of the Future, so P-T-O-T-F. <laughs> um, she's in the group with a couple of other teenagers that she made, and they're all about, you know, fighting the power and all that. And oh, the toilet's broken. Probably fix that. Then there's Orion. He is all about his sports, and he wants to go like join the basketball team. I believe he's yeah, he's in the sports club. And, and oh, his girlfriend is actually Anne Fang, which is a uh, Victor and Lily. I think her name was their kid that they had. And he's also friends with Rachel Huntington. So um, I had like uh, I had the other families like the the pre-made families have kids. So this was their kid, and that's his girlfriend. And then I have Remington here. Oh, your brother's bothering you. Um, Remy's in the chess club. He's like a little nerd, and he's he's friends with Tanya and uh, Peter, Peter Tanaka, which is also his. This is um, his mom's best friend's kid, one of her kids. <laughs> There's a whole story behind them too. We'll get there. We'll get there. This is gonna be like a little. I should probably make this into like a couple episodes actually, because this is such a big story I built that one video might not even be enough but <laughs> maybe two or three uh okay so lucinda um she is a 
um, critic. She's level nine in the critic food critic career, and um, she's got a lot of skills. Let's see what she has. She has a good reputation. She's a foodie. She's cheerful, domestic. Uh, she has a domestic from uh, family aspiration, and she's a perfectionist. And I gave her the entrepreneurial trait with her uh, lifetime awards. So um, Maddox is. Um, he's a detective, level nine. Uh, I know they're both at level nine. I need to get them up. <laughs> uh, in the detect the, the yeah the detective career. Um, he's his traits are genius, loves the outdoors, and creative. He's also observant, a quick learner, and entrepreneurial. Oh, the humor and hydrating festival, nice. Um, I definitely I downloaded him from the gallery. I forgot the creator's name because it was like a good two years ago, but he is like wow <laughs> but yeah um let's see oh oh yes her skills so lucinda's got level 10 the big in the baking skill level four in charisma four in comedy 10 in cooking one in dj mixing three in dancing six in fitness five gardening and 10 gourmet cooking two handiness three logic six painting <laughs> ten parenting one photography one rocket science and as you can see the selvo Doradian culture is level fully leveled up because as i said before her backstory was that she's from selvo, el selvo dorada um she's got one singing one video game and eight writing maddox um he's got ten charisma ten comedy ten cooking <laughs> one dj mixing three dancing 10 fishing, 10 fitness, 1 gardening, 10 gourmet cooking, 10 handiness, 10 logic, 10 mixology, 1 painting, 10 parenting, 1 photography, 1 programming, 2 rocket science, a little bit of Salvador Adian culture because of his wife, uh, 1 singing, 4 video gaming, and uh, level 10 writing. Um, I, pl I put this family on long, that's why they have so much time, <laughs> they had so much time to learn all these skills. I can't believe they're almost aging up. I played them for so long. You guys don't have any idea. Oh, this is their house. I actually used um, the house that Jen uh, Urban Sims uh, uploaded for her, from her Foreman's LP. Like when she first made the Foreman's, it inspired me to make a family like that has like a big background, a big story too. And that's what this family was. So I kind of wanted to use this house, you know, as like you know, like you know, to pay homage to her kind of type thing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's pretty much this family. Oh, and then I can't forget the pets. He's already an elder. I'm so sad. Oh, my God. It looks like he's dying. Oh, he's just sleeping and he's sick. This is Biscuit, their dog, Biscuit Gonzalez. Oh, he's really sick. We gotta take him to the doctor. Um, and then their cat, Cupcake. 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 Where are you? Here's Cupcake. Oh. Cupcake. <laughs> oh, Cupcake's sad. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much his family, so I'm going to now go into her oldest daughter's home because she obviously doesn't live here anymore. She has a family of her own, but um, I'm going to go into her home and I will be right back. Okay, guys, here we are in the Greenberg home. Now, Poppy is here in her little winter wear. This is Poppy. This is Lucinda and Maddox's firstborn child. She actually... Listen, um... Poppy has a intricate story of her own, too, that um, I'll get into. It involves, obviously, like I told you, um, Lucinda and her best friend, Malena, were pregnant at the same time, and that's when she met her best friend, Corinna, 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 that, Corinna Tanaka. So, uh, as you can see, they're not friends anymore. There's a big reason for that, but... I'll get into that in a second. So Poppy is um, Lucinda Maddox's firstborn daughter, and she grew up next to Jonas, which is her husband here. Jonas Greenberg also downloaded Sims, him and his mom. I downloaded them. I don't think they were parents. I think they were like a different relationship when I downloaded them, but um, like uh, I made them like this. So um, uh, she met him when they were kids, and they grew up, and they kind of fell in love, and now they have a family of their own, you know, and they actually had twins, Marisol and Wendy. They're so cute. Look at them. Um, now, 
Poppy is a head caterer in the chef career. You know, she watched her mom cooking all the time and being a critic when she grew up. And she wanted to be a chef. You know, it kind of just dawned on her that's what, that's what she wanted to do. She's level, what did, what did I say? Level six in the career. And she's a foodie, cheerful, and perfectionist. She also has a responsible trait and good manners from growing up well. And she was a happy toddler. And she has the essence of flavor from the food aspiration. Uh, I'm not going to go through all her skills because that's a lot of skills to go through. I don't know if I, really, I don't think you guys really want to see all that, but um, Jonas here is an agent handler in a secret agent career level three, and he is active, a geek, and a perfectionist as well. A lot of these people are, there are a lot of them are perfectionists, kind of where they got together because they're both perfectionists, they like everything to be perfect and tidy and neat. <laughs> now Marcel and Wendy are both just toddlers, so the only thing they have is, uh, Marcel has the angelic trait and Wendy has the independent trait so yeah you can kind of guess what they're gonna grow up and be like now poppy and corona that story hmm so corona and poppy were best friends all through their lives except for in high school when they stopped being friends which was the reason was because corona had started going down a strange path or so to speak you know that is a little hard to explain, but she tried to flirt with Jonas, uh, who was Poppy's boyfriend in high school as well, and she, Poppy found out, and then she immediately cut Corona off after years of friendship. So, yeah, and then Corona's life kind of went down from there. I'll go into her life when I dive into this family, the Tanaka family. But until then, get the wait. <laughs> but yeah, they, that's pretty much their story. They had to stop being friends because all that happened. Um, now she's friends with someone named Antonella. Um, Mikey, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. <laughs> also, I'll get into that story later. Mackenzie is the daughter of the guy Lucinda dated. The first guy. Are we keeping up? But <laughs> um, the daughter of Piper, the woman that he had cheated on Lucinda with this was the child she's all grown up now and she's actually friends with poppy because they were kind of they're not super close in age she's actually poppy's actually younger uh, i mean uh younger poppy is yeah poppy's a little younger than mackenzie but um they became friends because you know her mom kept contact with all the people for some odd reason that, that her ex cheated on her with <laughs> but yeah and andrea as well um, again, we'll get into that family later, but yeah, she has a really good relationship with all her siblings and her brothers, her mom and her dad, and her mother-in-law and her other friend, Olivia Kim Lewis. If I'm not mistaken, is she a part of anything? No, she's not. So yeah, pretty much this is just Poppy's life right now. Nothing super crazy happening. Okay, um... Next, I'm going to show you, I believe we actually, I believe that is it for the Gonzalez family. Anyway, that's the Gonzalez. That's my main family. This is the family that I play with that has evolved into so much more, but this is the main family right now. This is where they are. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next part, I will show you the rest of my current household families that I've been playing with for the past like two, three years now. So yes, thank you so much for watching and remember to always stay bright. Bye guys.